Hey friends, welcome back in. Refuge for Women excited to announce the commencement of their Human Trafficking Survivor Relief Fund. Now this is a fund that will provide an avenue of support and healing for previously exploited and trafficked women to rebuild their lives. That's right, and here to talk more about their fund is Executive Director Deanna Lynn and Community Engagement Coordinator Julian McPeak. Ladies, thank you so much for coming back in. We really appreciate it. So let's first of all talk about your mission and, and what it is that you are striving to achieve with this. Yes, um, well our mission is to for every exploited woman to have the hope, support, and tools needed to live a life of freedom. Mm -hmm. And that the hope and support and tools, like that takes time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so our mission is to be able to walk with them for the long term so that they can actually rebuild a life so that this never looks like an option again. Mm -hmm. You know, the last time you were all in, we talked about how this is a topic where many Kentuckians, many people think, oh, this isn't happening right. Yeah, this happens somewhere else. But it absolutely is, mm -hmm. and, and the numbers uh, are horrifying. Yeah, 3,500 just in Lexington. We reached out to 1,100 women advertised specifically to to service um, Lexington. Then our Louisville home is up to about 7,000 that have been advertised in the last six months. And um, again, people are looking for a box truck or a van or a kidnapping. And most of the women we serve were either boyfriended in wow. by, by someone who said they loved them. Um, and a lot of them, honestly, that happened to their mom. And so they're being raised up in it. So they're, they're born into traffic. Oh, okay. They've been trafficked since they were three, five, like they don't know any other life. Right. And so like when, when that's been your whole life for decades, it's, it's going to take a lot of tools to build something that looks completely different. Yeah, it's, it's so incredibly sad. It really is. I mean, it's just a horrible situation mm. for a lot yes. of these women, but you yeah. guys are helping. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about the fund, too. Yes. Um, so I'm really excited about this because I've been in this field for about 12 years and I've just heard survivors everywhere. And I've been one of those survivors that have been like, who cares about me now that I'm out of the safe home? Mm -hmm. You know, like we never had like this, we had this like incubating phase where we were safe, but like we still lacked all the resources and we still needed help with barriers that prevented us from living a, a good life. So the fund is actually to help, you know, remove some of those barriers. So that could be legal battles. It could be some of the health costs that come up once they're, they're safe enough for long enough to actually real like their body is like, oh, like here's how my trauma is presenting itself. Um, school, you know, learning different skills. Uh, a lot of times the body's so traumatized you can't go into like a labor intensive job, which is often what happens. Yes. Right, yes. Um, that's, a, that's a trap we often fall into as well. Okay, we saved you, the end, happy. Right. Happy conclusion, yeah. but there there is a lot of work <laughs> that yes. goes beyond that, and and that's where your organization comes in. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about um, Giving Tuesday and why it's important to uh, to step forward and say this is important to me? I, I need to support this mission. Sure. So we've kicked off the fundraising for this specific fund through um, the Bluegrass Community Foundation's Good Get Giving Challenge, which of course starts today and it runs through the sixth. Mm. Um, and we're using that as a platform because the Bluegrass Community Foundation is really good at connecting individuals and businesses and organizations with philanthropic endeavors that they are passionate about. Um, and so our idea is to connect with those donors um, through their platform and be able to reach them. Uh, our platform page gives some suggested donations and kind of tells the story of where that money is going and how it relates to the fund. Um, uh -huh. But you're of course welcome to give at any level and know that it's going to go directly to help serve the women that, that we serve. That's tremendous. It is. And then the giving, um, it, as far as financially for folks that are out there, they can use credit cards, can they use, uh, what kind of payments do you all accept? Yes, yeah, so the through the bggives.org you can use a credit card. Um, and then they will, you'll specifically get an email kicked from them mm -hmm. into your inbox. So they'll ask for just a little bit of information um, and then you'll get that tax benefit. So everything is funneled through their website okay. um, for the specific fundraising campaign. So you'll do that through that bggives.org or easy, through a link on our page. Easy to navigate, easy Very. to do. And can, can you give us a sense, I mean, how important is the Good Giving Challenge to an organization mm -hmm. like yours? I mean, this is bottom, bottom line, mission, frontline stuff, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really important. Um, it gives us an opportunity to connect with donors that we may not reach through our regular avenues. Mm. Um, it's important because I think it has an educational component to it as well. When you visit the different organization sites, including ours on that platform, it tells the story of what their mission is and what they're passionate about. And part of our mission is education in the Lexington area. Yes. Um, and so it's it's twofold. So it gives you a chance to donate, but it also gives us a chance to help um, educate our community on what's going on in the human trafficking sector. Very good. Yes. It's, it's yeah. such important work it and is. we need to do a better job putting a face yeah. to this work. So please come back often mm -hmm. to see us in the new year and beyond because uh, we want to continue to shine Thank the spotlight you. on the yes. good work you all are and doing. And get the Thank support you. that you deserve. One, yeah, mm -hmm. one of the biggest challenges is that like you people think human trafficking is like so far out there or right. what can I even do to help and yes. there's yeah. just so many like things that we can all come together yeah. and do. To Unfortunately help. it could be right next door. Right. Okay. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Well thank you ladies for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. for the good work you're doing. Absolutely. Stay with us. Back after this.